Hey guys, Likey here, and I am happy to tell you that the December update has officially dropped. Now, this account here, this is actually me. This is my personal account um, that does have Max Giant Three Musketeers. So uh, now that name changes are 500 gems, which if you guys didn't know, name changes are 500 gems. I will probably be changing it to Likey uh, soon enough. But, and I'll also probably be pushing this account as high as I possibly can since it's going to be my own account. But let's just go over this update. Because it's such a big update and one of the best updates that Clash Royale has released so far. They've just made the game competitive again and I really love it. So to begin, we can kind of look at the star levels. So basically star levels are when you're a max level you get star points instead of experience and with these star points you can uh, upgrade max cards that are star level so the giant three musketeers deck in this account is max it's like the only max deck but still it's maxed so i got star level one for all of these and what that basically does is when you drop in the card it like has a golden effect and it's really cool so uh you guys will probably see that in action during this video and also your profile looks really good like you can uh you can see that they really made it visually appealing they just added badges they they spread everything out and it's just a really really good looking profile so they definitely improved the ui of this game a lot um now you need there's some other like cosmetic changes like uh not cosmetic, but there's some other changes like you need, each person needs a token to trade and things like that. But the big change and the one that we are all hyped about is global tournaments. Um, so as you can see, I'm 11 and 2 right now in this global tournament. Basically, you get four losses. You see how high you can possibly get in this and you get rewards along the way. As you can see, I failed on my Likey account at 15 because I was kind of messing around, but... Now I see that this is like actually like a serious thing and it does get really hard so I'm not going to be using any like random decks I'm actually just going straight for it with giant three musketeers uh, especially so I can show off these gold levels so we're at 12 2 right now let's uh, try to get it to 15 and um, I'll definitely be going hard in this one not like uh, on my likey account so uh, here we go and I'm just going to see how high I can get really so um, Looks like he's going to play a bandit, so hopefully he's playing uh, P.E.K.K.A. Minor Poison, which I do quite well against. So he does have an Executioner, so I'll have to tank and spank that whenever I can, which basically means you play a tank like a Giant or a Battle Ram, and then you um, destroy it with Minion Horde, but right now it looks like I can just block it with a Giant, and let's see what he actually has to defend this Giant. He's going to put down the bats, but I'm just going to zap that. And it looks like we're doing pretty good. I'm going to see what he has to counter this minion horde. And he does have arrows. Okay. So he has executioner and arrows. So my minion horde is not going to be effective. So I have to rely more on my goblin gang and my bats. So I'm going to test to see what heavy spell he has by putting down a pump. Actually, let's get these bats down here. And let's get down a pump and just see... Um, what he's going to use against it. So let's get a Goblin Gang down to defend this. And we should be good. So it looks like he's going to use Bats, so I get even more value out of that Goblin Gang. And it looks like he doesn't even have a heavy spell, so this is going to be an easy game if that's actually true. So let's get my Giant down. And you can see when I place down these cards that have star levels, they um, have like a cool golden spawn-in effect. So let's get my three musketeers down splitting one to this side so that he can't like tornado and get a lot of value by uh destroying my two musketeers but here we go let's zap here and i'm also going to put down a ram behind this giant and let's see what he does about this so um that ram should support my musketeer it should get to the tower and uh even though he has, like, Executioner and Arrows, like, he just doesn't have a heavy spell, so he's gonna have trouble dealing with my pushes. Let's set up another Giant, and my pump's still going, still giving me value, still giving me an advantage here. So he has no heavy spell, I'm gonna go through Musketeers this way. That was actually a mistake, because now he can actually get value with his Executioner. But, if I just push in hard on the other side, then maybe I can stop him from using his Tornado. Or, I don't even know if he has a Tornado, but... Typically, Executioner is paired with Tornado. So it looks like he has Mega Knight too, which actually would have been really good um, before. For some reason, he didn't use it. But um, let's get some defensive three Musketeers down. 
Let's get a goblin gang down here to pull. It's not going to pull that uh, lumberjack, unfortunately. So that is going to get a lot of damage, but now I have two musketeers over there. I have, like, a ton of stuff over here. Once again, I'll stack my giant in the ram. Now, typically, you want to have your giant in the ram going in different lanes, but sometimes, also, when you stack them, you can get one of them to the tower, just because you want to get the ram to connect, and to do that, sometimes you can, like, add a tank. So, that was just pretty easy, since he didn't have a heavy spell, so that's going to put us at 13 and 2. So, let's go. Let's go as high as we can. This video will probably end if I get to 15. Hopefully I don't lose any because, like, the two that I lost were against um, those three musketeer decks with fireballs that are running around. So hopefully I don't run into too many of those because that's, like, that's basically the hardest thing I could face. So he's going to start out with a royal ghost. I'm just going to block that with a giant. So um, it looks like he's going to go in with some bridge spam here. So let's get down a minion horde and see what he has. So there we go. And my minion horde should be making its way to his tower, and um, he's going to e was that. But now the thing is, he used uh, his e was so my ram is free, basically, because uh, his e was is his best counter. I'm assuming he has P.E.K.K.A. too, but he doesn't have enough elixir to use it. And I also sent in the bats because he used the e was and the zap, so he has no good counter. Looks like he's actually going to give up and just poison my king tower, so I'm just going to take this game really quick. Um... And that was just an example of, like, identify what deck they have. So I identified it was P.E.K.K.A. It was P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam. Then I saw that he used his Zap, he used his e -Wiz, so there was just no way he was going to win. Looks like he's sending in his P.E.K.K.A. here. I don't know why. Um, I guess he's just trying to make the game go faster. Or just do something with his time, but... Um, Looks like his cards are a little under-leveled too, like for example he has a level 9 Royal Ghost and level 9 Battle Ram, so maybe he thought it was Tournament Standard or something, but either way I outplayed him heavily, so... Oh, interesting, looks like I actually get a Legendary Token, so I'll see what I can use that for. I actually have enough Miners to max my Miner, because I've been getting the Legendary Tokens for a long time, and just trading for Miners, but I don't have any Gold, so if I get far enough I guess I'll get a good amount of Gold from this. So here we go, and this is the battle 215. Once again, these global tournaments are super hyped because you can go as high as you want to. And if you get really high, there's recognition and there's a lot of competitiveness in it. So it looks like he's going to go with his hog. I have no good counter but my three musketeers. So I'm splitting it this way so that uh, just one splits to the hog side, but two actually help in defense. So it's like the best of both. Because if he chooses to fireball, he has to fireball the other side, but... I still get two musketeers defending. So interesting, looks like he's going to use a Mega Knight. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have a great counter for that right now. Unfortunately, my Goblin Gang also, I was going to play it so that it took out his Mega Knight, but it didn't do that. But it's still fine because my Goblins are going to take out his Mega Knight and I already took down a tower. So I'm sitting pretty, like in a pretty good position right now. And also, um, the... This deck got nerfed because they made Pump not appear in starting hands, and a lot of people think that's, like, horrible, and the Musketeers is useless. I don't think so at all. In fact, most of the time, um, actually, not most of the time, but sometimes when you play a Pump, you can get really heavily punished, and, um, basically, this new change prevents you from doing that. So, it prevents you from making the mistake of playing a Pump and getting punished at the beginning, because, like, for example, if they have Giant and you play a Pump in the beginning it's almost over, like, that's basically a sacrifice of a tower. So, um, let's just go in, looks like he has fireball, so... Now I can use my three musketeers. I uh, should I let that... I'm not gonna let that get, get damaged, so I'm actually gonna defend this. I don't have enough for three musketeers. Let's get bats down so that his e -wiz doesn't get damage on my tower. And that's gonna work out fine, so I think his fireball's still in cycle, he needs to play two more cards. So, um... Let's play three musketeers this way, because he can't fireball it right now. And let's just kind of set up, defend, and um, try to take this game here. So, he's going to go with Mega Knight. I'm going to go with Giant. Then I'm also going to go with a Ram in the center, because he doesn't have the Mega Knight or the e -Wiz to counter this. Um, I'm going to send in a Minion Horde. Looks like he's going to miss most of the Minion Horde. And he uses Fireball, so I can go with three musketeers, I guess. Let's get a Goblin Gang in the center here. 
And let's also get a giant to block this E-Wiz. And looks like he is going to get a hog, so he might actually take that tower. So he's actually going to fireball, so that's a lot of elixir he just spent. So I'm just going to have three musketeers in the center. There's not much he can do about that. That's almost a guaranteed tower, yeah. And let's just defend it out. Let's put, like, my minion horde, my battle ram, and that's a pretty easy game. Like, I really didn't have any issues there. So, um, looks like we're at 15-2 now, which isn't the best again, because every time I face, like, a three musketeer fireball deck, actually, I faced, like, three, I beat one and lost to two. But I think I'll develop a strategy to beating those eventually, and I'll share that with you guys for sure. So, um, so I'm at 15-2 right now. I'll off camera i'll basically see how high i can get but uh that's gonna wrap it up for now so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video definitely one of the best updates like even if you're not max and don't have the star levels or even if you're like not that good you've got to be hyped about the global tournaments you've got to be hyped about basically everything that they've added to the game you've got to be hyped about the cosmetics especially um Really, this was a major improvement to the game and something that the game really needed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.